This is Maya Forstatter, a tax expert, a feminist, and the protagonist in a bitter legal battle about sex, gender, and freedom of speech. But it's about having institutions that are able to stand up. For she the believes truth. the body someone is born with determines their sex, and that this sex cannot be changed. But it's a belief that puts her at odds with the rights of transgender people, at odds with the view that gender or how someone identifies is more important. It's a belief that cost her her job and a belief she's fighting to have legally protected. It's the ability to talk about material reality. The reality is there are two sexes, but sex matters, and sex matters for healthcare, sex matters for other people's privacy, it matters for how we understand the world, and it matters in organisations. But to some, this view is deeply transphobic. Her contract at the think tank where she worked was not renewed after colleagues complained about tweets expressing it. She went to employment tribunal to argue such beliefs should have legal protection. But she lost, the judge describing them as incompatible with human dignity and not worthy of respect in a democratic society. Her appeal is being heard next week. If I lose and this is not a protected belief, then it's open season for women in particular, but for anybody who speaks up about women's sex-based rights. Employers have to be able to think these things through. The judgment was, it was pretty resounding against you. Do you accept that some of the things you said amounted to harassment in the eyes of some, and that that's what matters, it's how people perceive these things? No, not at all. There was nothing that I did that harassed anybody. So if the belief is protected, that doesn't mean, that doesn't give you the ability to harass or abuse anybody. Her case has been extremely high profile. Support from author JK Rowling made it international news, but it's caused hurt and distress. Many transgender people say her views amount to a denial of their existence and threaten a respectful workplace. If a person obtains a gender recognition certificate, they should have the full protection of, of the law. If we undermine that, then that fundamentally under, undermines protections for all trans people in the UK. Um, trans people in this country are being vilified for something that's a, a natural uh, hormonal development of the brain in the womb. Whichever side prevails in this appeal, it will set an important precedent that will have implications beyond just the workplace. It will determine how you can be treated simply for holding these beliefs, even if they're never acted upon. Either side could take the case to the Court of Appeal if they lose. The stakes are as high as the issue is divisive. Helen Ann Smith, Sky News.